All right. Hello, PAX West. How are you out there? Great. Uh, there you go. Got some music playing. Uh, this is 4 for it breaking down the internet. I'll describe the show in a moment. I want to say hello to all of you. Thank you all for coming out here on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, thanks to everyone watching on Twitch. We appreciate that. Uh, you can make noise in your uh, apartment or whatever. Uh, thanks for coming out to the show. Um, uh, as you all came in, you may have seen uh, the wall of support. Uh, these are all the very fine folks that gave, uh, gave money to a Kickstarter that I ran so that I could come here. Uh, we'll talk about that Kickstarter a little bit later because uh, the last two names on that list gave too much money and got to pick a segment in the show. Um, so we'll give them a shout out a little later. Uh, let me introduce my guests. Uh, we've got Charlie and Erica and Alex. Say hello to everybody. Hi. Hello. hello. This is also hello. our official mic check because we didn't do that. So uh, 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 hello. Uh, 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 uh. Great. We're good. Um, these are my fine guests. They they brought stuff for us to talk about. Um, and I, I brought things as well. You might ask yourself, well, this was a Sunday panel in, in Hydra, and I thought, that would be fun, I'll go to that. What is 404-ing it? And I'll explain that now. Uh, we talk about the internet and the stuff uh, from it that we love. We talk over videos and photos. We try to be positive. Uh, so this is uh, 13 plus, so we will swear, um, but it's like positive swears, where we're like, look at this fucking thing, this mm. rules. <laughs> uh, it's that kind of swearing. Um, uh, it'll be fun. Uh, and uh, don't worry about that last warning. I forgot to update this. <laughs> I was going to um, say, I remember I, that I warning. don't remember putting that in there. Yeah. <laughs> so that this is, a, the, I just make the PowerPoint and then update it every show. And I forgot to take out the warning. There are no warnings uh, for this show. There's nothing I think that would throw people off. Um, oh, we'll see about that. There's some stuff that's a little weird. I'm not, don't get me wrong. Like weird is also good. Uh, so let's get back into it. I mentioned Kickstarter backers. Um, so I had a $150 tier where I was like, don't do this. But if you want to, I'll talk about whatever you want during uh, uh, the show. Oh, no. Uh, for good and bad. We'll get to, we'll get to, to the bad. Um, I didn't start that backup recorder. That's fine. Uh, so Harold Price, a one, Harold Price is such a wonderful man. I love that man. Uh, he's a great dude. Uh, he just sent like a couple videos he thought we could look at and talk about. So let's look at this first one. You might know it, we'll talk over it, and then I'll, I'll give a little bit of the history of this video. Um, but this, this is probably the video most people in the audience have seen before. You watch me get Fred's Fruity Pebbles. Who are you? I'm the master rapper, and I'm here to say I love Fruity Pebbles in a major way. He loves Fruity Pebbles in a major way. The bedrock yellow. So what I want to say about this is obviously this is a Fruity Pebbles commercial. They did a lot of commercials. They did the Ho Ho I'm Ho Hungry one with uh, Santa Claus. That Santa Claus is real. Uh, so... I'm the rapper and I'm here to say I love blank in a major way. That has now become a cliche. And that's where it started is this stupid commercial. Wow. <laughs> Wait, really? Like when you want to be a terror when you want to do a terrible white rapper character yes. and you want to say, like, oh, and I'm here to say I, I love rapping in a major way. You're doing a parody of this commercial. <laughs> wow. So a whole This is like a hip hop er text. Yeah, it's a whole terrible subgenre of comedy started with trying to sell cereal. Like most th most good things. Uh, and then also uh, and yeah, it was one of those things where I'm like, is that the, f yeah, it's the first one. It's wow. terrible. Um, <laughs> so this is awful and I hate it, but we're going to watch a lot of it. So this is Sesame Street. Uh, they often get musical acts on. Uh, they. <sighs> Wait, is this what I think it is? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. But they made it a story. They made it for Sesame Street. Won't you please choose me as your playmate? Oh, Princess Zoe, Prince Elmo beseech you to choose him as your playmate. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Oh, I, oh my god. Mm -mm. Princess Zoe, mm -mm. go. No. Yeah. So Sesame Street does this a lot where they're like, we're going to modify the song to be uh, something that we can do with the puppets so it's not just a musical act. It's like for the whole show. So instead of doing a song about two princes, about like two guys that want to date the same lady, uh, it's a song about two puppets that want to play with a princess and hang out and have a play date. Uh, also, we got to point out, so no one in the band wants to do this, right? Every Clearly. time you look at the band, 
understand that no one wants to do it. But the bass player, I don't even know if he knows he's on Sesame Street. <laughs> we'll get to it in a minute. I wanted to point it out because they don't spend a lot of time on him. I think the drummer maybe wants to be there. He's like having a good time. I've never, I've never seen. I've never seen like the the performers of this yeah, band. Yeah, I had before. no idea what the Spin Doctors look like. The, and s- the singer looks like a super like basic Walmart version yeah. of like the Queens of no, the no, Stone Age. Yes. yes. <laughs> no, this is like MTV's so look, reboot okay. of Mark Zuckerberg. Guitar player, yeah. kind of bass player, not into it. No. Bass player, have you ever seen a bass player move less? But. Did you see that. that? Did you see that bass though? Look how much of an ally he is. He got. He was like, "Oh, the camera's on me now." Okay. He just picked his nose in that shot. <laughs> Go back and watch it later. He's cleaning his face at the, in that shot. Uh, so the lead singer of the Spin Doctors is kind of into this. He's like, "Oh, that's. I guess that's fun," but he's not an actor, and it just. It, it's like he realizes what he's what he's in now. Yeah. He's like, "This is. Oh, this is what we do. We're a one-hit wonder." I like. I like that he keep. I like that he keeps looking down at the puppets, but I'm not sure if he's looking down at the puppets or the people controlling the puppets. And yeah. either way, I think it's really also, funny. Well, I why, mean, uh, what look. is with the jacket? Because they're, they're, <laughs> like, they're welcome they were, to the crap parade, mother. Like what? Yeah, they were trying to compete and be cool. Almost wearing sunglasses to make him the cooler prince. I don't know. I look. hate this man. I hate him. Yeah, it's Princess Zoe. Who were those guys? Those guys. Unnecessary, and, and they were never heard again. I don't know why. I, we, I wanted to show that part because she, they all laugh, and it, she didn't say a joke. <laughs> she didn't say a joke at all. She just said the name of the band. It's, and they like, all it's like the end of G, every episode of GI Joe. Yeah, it's just the end of an SL sketch where you're God. just like, oh, I don't know, everyone laugh. Um, so, <laughs> so here's the deal, Ed Zetron. Uh, I, I've never met this gentleman. He gave me a bunch of money. I appreciate it very much. Uh, he asked me to like, like go hard on a topic that he wanted us to like really like go after. And I was like, that's not what the show is. We celebrate stuff. <laughs> Sometimes we do call out the, like, yes, we are celebrating that terrible idea that someone said, let's have the spin doctors. We'll make a whole script about it and we'll call out the stupid stuff. But I'm still glad that exists on the internet. Um, so Edzie John wanted us to talk about gotcha games and how this is uh, leading to classism in gaming. And that's not a topic for Pat Bear. Um, <laughs> This is a positive show about good stuff on the internet. So, so games where you have to spend money on maybe unlocking items are bad. Uh, so that's what, they, Ed, here you go. Please don't bad, please don't bad yeah. mouth uh, the games where I collect all of my wives, please. I'm not. <laughs> but if you need to spend a lot Grand of money. I will defend Grand Blue Fantasy to the death. Yeah. Uh, and here are some videos of Gachapon machines, which are kind of like gotcha games. That's where they came from. Uh, I just found two cool videos of Gachapon machines, and we'll look at that. Uh, This person inserted their own music, and I really like it. Um, Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Yeah, Yeah. it's fun. Um, They are at they are at one of those kind of places in Japan, and they're in other parts of the world as well, where there's like trays of food come by on a cart, and you just pick up what you want. This just makes me want to go to Blue Sea Sushi again. But when you're done, you put your plates into uh, a clean dispenser, and the number of plates you get, uh, you could win a prize. It's it's Holy the gotcha machine. Holy what? Yeah. Th- this is like weirdly erotic. So there's the, yeah, there's an animated thing, and like this whole process happens, and it, it as I said, it is aided by this cool music. Um, <laughs> and then it, yeah, and then you get like scored. That dude is real hyped. Based on yeah, and then there's a gotcha machine that like. Uh, or Gashapon, if you want to say Gashapon, and you opened up a uh, what appears to be a Dragon Ball. Uh, it has, then, is it like a salt and pepper shaker? Or? No, it's just a, it's just a ball, like a, a plastic ball that has a prize inside that he takes too long to open <laughs> for the purposes of this video. And then he won. Oh, there's like a weird ad because it's a Dragon Ball Super uh, Gashapon. You could win Ooh. a bunch of them. Yeah. He's, on, like, he's like savoring every single part of this yeah. wish yeah. ball. And he won a uh, a big little sticker of the character Whis from Dragon Ball Super. It's just a sticker. That's all it is. But uh, as far as... That was so, like four plates of sushi for that. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, so most videos about Gashapon are just people like 
that I just, I don't want to show on this show. Like I tried very hard, I did a lot of research. So the closest other video I could come uh, on the subject. Uh, also, if you look at like Gotcha Games, they're just videos where a bunch of numbers go up mm -hmm. and there's no commentary and I have no context for why this video was made and why it has two million views. <laughs> like even the comments, people are just like, cool. They're not like, oh, he won <laughs> this thing. There's no context, so I was like, fuck that. Uh, so this is a video of this woman in Japan at a convenience store freaked out by the Gotchbomb machine. Hi. And she's nice, she's very nice. We won't watch the whole video. Supermarket, and I found something very, very, very There's a little kid in the background, and she's like, oh, I don't want the kid on the screen. Dun, 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 dun. It's, <laughs> it's plastic you underwear for your water theater. bottle. It's like a it's water bottle. It's like, bottle. it's like, could koozies be worse? <laughs> there are six different types. And uh, it's 200 yen each. I'm going to try two times and let's see what we get. I want the strawberry one. The strawberry one is so cute. Actually, see, all of them are See, so she's talking about adorable. pants for her water bottle? And hilarious. I'm going to say, that's the, that's why, the thing that gets you, you about Gachapon is gotcha these are stupid, but she still wants but one I'm of them more than the others. <laughs> and that's how they get you. Both at the end, so you end up with the, the brown one and you're like, oh. Then, Ah, uh, uh, well, I'll put another one in. Maybe I can get the stripes. Video yourself. There's quite a lot of families around. Take, just, come on. Okay, get to it. Let's okay. go. All right, cool. So first one, oh, I can already tell what's the inside. It is the normal white frilly one. Ta -da. Yeah. Oh, this one, this one. Yeah, and then you stick those on your water okay. bottles for some uh, reason. Let's see what this, <laughs> let's see what it's this flare. is. It's flare. Yeah. <laughs> for your it's water bottle. It's the lip <laughs> Yeah, it's leopard print. You know, like, and also I will say this. Uh, we've all heard about those those uh, vending machines in Japan. This is the nicest thing I've ever said about Japanese vending machines where you get underwear. Uh, it's not those other machines. I'm, I'm still trying to deal with, like, the fact that the place that she's in just looks like a laundromat, but it's all just put 25 cents in this thing and get garbage. Yeah, th she said this is like, um, this is a uh, grocery store because there are people like kind of looking at her as she's doing this because she's kneeling on the floor while she does it. Anyway, there's more to this video. She does not get the pair she wants. Because that's how they get, I bet I bet that pair's not even in that machine. That's that's the SSR. So yeah. You gotta get the, the uh, so thank you, pennies. Kickstarter backers. Ed, I'm sorry I didn't rail really hard on gotcha games. Uh, but I mean, they can be addictive. You know, you spend a lot of money to get your all your wives uh, in various games. I love them so much. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, I know. Erica, I know. I love them so much. All right. So uh, I did another segment. Uh, I always prepare two segments for the show. Um, so we're going to talk about this thing called Heritage Minutes. Um, are there any Canadians in the crowd? There's a couple. There are a few people cl clapping very loud. Erica, you're Canadian. My people. Yes. So there are a few people clapping very loudly. Um, so from what I understand, to give you a little context before we watch one of these, uh, these are all like 60-second videos, uh, and they're like four out of 180 um, so part of the deal with, uh, with Canada is that there needs to be um, educational programming on television, a certain percentage that is about Canada. Um, so it's not just all imports from America and other places. Is that, is that accurate? It's, it's not necessarily educational oh, okay. stuff. It's just that according to like, uh, like CRTC, like the, the communications uh, bureau in, in Canada or whatever, it's like if you, if you are broadcasting in Canada X amount of or like so much percentage of your content has to be Canadian made content. Okay. CanCon. Um, yeah. And like that's, yeah, that's, that's mostly just to like preserve culture and, and all that good stuff, so. So you're watching Degrassi and Degrassi ends and another show's gonna come on and you maybe saw some advertising, but in between that, you saw a one minute educational video that sometimes is about Canada and sometimes is loosely about Canada. <laughs> and a lot of the ones I picked here are stretching. Who we'll watched this first one? Uh, this one is historic. Uh, hey, go on. Go on. Your they, they're, I don't, they, they try to tell a little story because they have 60 seconds to tell a thing. There's a lot of voiceover in these. The antenna is holding, sir. So there's that, the game was, yeah. This looks like a Mr. Showbiz. <laughs> trick my trick. Yes. Bravo. Oh, 
Yes, indeed. This is how phone sex was invented. This is going to make your world. Oh, that's a, a creepy edit. <laughs> one I grew up in. You know where England is? Sure, it's over there. And over there is where that sound is coming from. See you. Right, Mr. <laughs> Could you Rodeo be more proud of yourself? That, for I think that man might be a robot. <laughs> So what the yeah. fuck was what? that? <laughs> so so they, that was like the first transatlantic uh, message sent, and so they used the kite to help send it instead of I don't know wires and satellites and all that. And that's important. Okay. Enough that they were like, let's make a video about it. Also, I do think that man at the end was a robot. Okay. I probably. Um. So we'll we'll look at another one. You know the story when the RKF Now I picked this one for two reasons. Two Here's the first reason. Dan Aykroyd is in it, so yes. The Yanks tried twice and failed. Dan Aykroyd is going to be in it, and then he's going to be gone. Going right here in Toronto. And now you guys, my guys, are saying that it can't be done, that they were right. Exposition. Now that's the rocket that we used to get Most the model of Most of these are just the characters saying exposition at each other. Come on, baby. What? Damn it! You did it according to your specs. The specs. Ah, that Canadian Air Force. Yeah. They're just trying to build fast jets and fast rockets. And then I want everyone to hear the voiceover at the end of this because it's very funny to me. And I think it'd be funny to you. We did it! Although the government canceled the project and destroyed the prototypes, the what? era yep. remains for Canada a world benchmark in aerospace achievement. Part of Canadian heritage is, hey, we did a cool thing, and then we were like, let's stop. And, and you know what? Hey, that, that prototype we made, destroy it. <laughs> Part of our Canadian heritage. Uh, Plot look, twist. <laughs> look, it's about the journey. Yeah. It's about the journey, okay? Like I said, I mostly picked that because Dan Aykroyd was in it, and I was like, hell yeah, Dan Aykroyd. And then I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Are you sure Dan Aykroyd, that was just a completely unrelated Dan Aykroyd movie? It could have. They could have just been filming it. No, yeah, I love, I just love these. They're so fun. All right, so now we start getting, like, those took place in Canada with Canadians. We start getting, we stretch it a little bit more with this one. Because this is, we're in Massachusetts right now. I love right this now. one. This is my favorite one. Yeah. This one, a lot of acting, quote unquote, happens at this one. Now this looks like a Mr. Show sketch. <laughs> yeah. I'll be completely honest with you, like, I don't remember these being in color. <laughs> I don't understand the rules of basketball. It's being invented right now. Peach basket. <laughs> All right. Maybe we can't allow a carry of a couple of steps. And Mr. Naismith, sir, it sure slows things down having to climb up here every time. Well, then let's cut the bottom out of the basket. I need these Genius! Back. Yeah, this, this, that man is so unhappy because he really wants his... He, he's like, I need these baskets back. A hundred years and now so that man's anyway, out of job. No, 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 this is and, the best part. Look. Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. They're like, wait. They're like, wait, cut a hole wait. in the basket. Wait. But not to make the ball fall through, just so we can poke it out of there. <laughs> like, I'm still trying to figure out how Canada's claiming basketball. So, so here's it. <laughs> so that man, the man in the uh, in the jacket uh, that was explaining the rules, yeah. is Canadian. Yes. So then he went to Massachusetts and invented basketball in Massachusetts. I believe, but it's part of our Canadian heritage. I, I love Canada. It's a wonderful country. This is really grasping at straws here. Yeah. I believe that guy's name is James McGill, and we have a un like a one of our best universities named after him. It's no. like it's like Nesbit or something. That right? is true. Nesbit? Yeah. Uh, there's, so there's a, there's a statue of the Peach Basket. So this one is on amazing. Campus. This one is incredible the amount of production that is poorly done in this. Wait a minute. Holy shit. Wait. Ooh. What the, oh, what? What the I, hell is that? Hot. I, know, I know we've said this before, but this is the Mr. Show sketch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, this is also 90s FMV video games as well. Yeah. Yeah. This, this, this is just like stuff about Vikings. This is like Night Trap, Game of Thrones. I'm pretty sure I, I remember this part of Abduction. It was really good. And then years, centuries later, in Canada, in Newfoundland, uh, in 19... What? Yeah. Is this how Guy Madden got his start? This is... Helga and Anastina Ingsta proved that the Vikings were by centuries the first Europeans to visit this continent. Our proud Canadian heritage. That video is just like, 
we found stuff. We think the Vikings were here first. Go Canada. <laughs> so, okay, but the thing is that, like, so the, at least from my experience, all of these, they played during, like, commercial breaks in between, like, cartoons and stuff on, like, Sunday mornings or, like, on, on afternoons after school. And it was, like, I, f I felt like it was always the government being, like, you, we know you want to watch Digimon, but, like, at, at least learn a little bit about your country. Yeah. And it worked because I have immense pride in my homeland, and a lot of it is because of, like, stuff like this where I, I don't remember the details, but I'm like, yeah, we did stuff. That, that um, shit was cool. We, we won't watch all of this last one because, honestly, the Viking one is so insane. But this last one, I just want to point out, like, how the stretching goes so far that they're just like... And he can lift anything. Anything at all. He's that strong. Joe Schuster, will you stop it or you'll miss your train? Now, help me find number five. Strong, but by day, he's a mild-mannered reporter. Glasses, you know, a secret identity. Honestly, you Canadian kids. He'd be in this... Okay, case. that's all it is. That's all I wanted to say. Schuster, one of the creators of Superman, is Canadian. Uh, so they were just like, our proud heritage. That's all it is. The whole video, that whole little clip is too long because it's 60 seconds, but it feels like an hour of him just <laughs> spelling out all the parts of Superman and her being like, you're so dumb. Uh, oh, look at this stupid Canadian kid. Because even in their videos, they still rag on Canadians. <laughs> half, of the, half of the videos I watch is just someone else going, that'll never work, Can Canada. It's their some... national identity. Being mocked by Americans is part of our heritage. <laughs> yes, you're, okay, you're very true, audience participation. Uh, uh, there's, there's, there's actually some that are, like, sad, there's, that were not right for this show. Yes. But there, there's, there's also one that I almost, I almost added. It's about, like, two, like, the first college in Canada that uh, allowed women to be in, like, uh, mm -hmm. doctorates uh, to get to, to go to medical school. And it's just, like... I cannot say this next word in front of the ladies present, and they're just like penis, and that's like, that's like the video. But it, but it our has Canadian this like, heritage. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's very somber, and they're like, even though it took ten more years for whatever, it's a lot. A lot of those videos are just like, but we tried. Uh, anyway, so now we're in the second half of the show, uh, where we start talking to our guests because you yeah. brought stuff for us, Charlie. Yeah. Hello, Charlie. Hello. Hello, um, everybody. You brought things for us to look at. I did. I I, uh, I brought things involving balls. Yes. Rolling, rolling balls. Yeah. <laughs> when we start the first one, you can talk a little bit while we go. Uh, uh, I guess your segment is just like, hey, this is, you know, things you like watching on the internet that you're kind of obsessed with. Yeah, I know. This is just going to make me seem like a hell of a weirdo. But, like, for, for some inexplicable reason, there's only so many things I can watch on the internet with my little three-year-old son. So marble runs are like a, a weird jam of mine, which, you know, as a kid, I used to build like these marble tracks with like, you know, paper towel tubes and things and scotch tape or whatever. Apparently, somewhere along the line over the cat last couple of years, people on YouTube have gone fucking crazy over this shit. So there's a whole channel with like run by this uh, Scandinavian dude or something called Jellies, who he's just dug like some crazy like half mile long trench uh, along like a beach that's on a hill and then runs like these 20 minute videos of like 30 marbles racing against each other. Yeah, we're going to see that later, but we'll start oh, with no, this. Oh, okay, I'm yeah, yeah. We'll start with this. Uh... Oh, yeah, and Hot Wheels. Because everybody loves Hot Wheels. This is fair warning. This video is a slight departure from my usual science y build stuff. But I wanted to make that's pretty great. Really so this is cool. So uh, all the videos that I'm showing will be uh, eventually on my, uh, I'll plug it later, my Tumblr. I put up all the source videos so you can go and watch their videos later. Uh, and especially in case any of these videos get content ID'd and I have to take it out of my archive, you can go see the originals later. Uh, this is just cool, like, like Hot Wheels Insane stuff. Hot Wheel track yeah. action. Yeah. Just like great camera work, unnecessarily great camera work. Yeah. And I could totally understand you watching all this with like a, uh, oh yeah, that's just cool. <laughs> it's amazing what you can get away with with GoPros now, apparently. Yeah. But I love you just watching this like with a three-year-old. Well, there's, and there's like a race element because you're like, I don't know who's going to win. And then like you're just watching these weird videos where people with way too much money and time on oh, their no. hands are just dicking around with toys. And then you're suddenly invested as to who's going to win. Yeah. I'm so mad the A-Team van lost. Yeah. I oh, mean, don't worry. It'll come back around. Oh, okay. Being yeah. in first place is the real detriment if there's a mouse trap on the track. 
this is like, this is like the ultimate version of how I spent time as a kid of just playing with all yes. cars and yes. stuff. Yes. I but did not have this much ingenuity though. I did I did not make the cars race around Dude. the fucking like <laughs> roof of my house. Here, here's the best part. As a dad, this means instead of actually having to do all this nonsense, I could just watch a video <laughs> on YouTube and feel like I did. Oh, that's so good, Charlie. <laughs> Hell yeah. See all this all that was missing was like a boom. Boom shakalaka. This is so much work. And it's a great video, but it's so much work. It's well oh, yeah. shot. <laughs> I love this! Oh. Super slow mo. They're doing a lot with slow motion second. cameras these days, yeah. Yeah, they build a tube the through like it like just pools. This is amazing. Yeah. I gotta get the I <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this the action figures hanging out watching. Balls. We gotta get some of the sweet YouTube money and start making cool videos. Seriously. Just, yeah. And... Oh no. More slow-mo, more slow-mo. Yeah. No! no. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's why I fucked that mountain yeah. up. I mean, that's just unnecessary. How big was that mouse trap? Danger. Oh. Yeah. Now, la now look at all of you are all totally invested in this stupid race. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, episode one was my fan favorite. Like, that was the one I was into. So Level Lord is the, is the guy who made all of these, right? Apparently. Yeah. This does feel like a Level Lord level. Oh, photo finish. We need to get this guy a job at Playground Games for the next Forza Horizon yes. game. <laughs> yeah. That dude needs to design the tracks yeah. for the next one. Like, I wasn't going to watch the whole thing, but, but now we're watching the whole thing. It's, it's, I don't know what to I don't fucking going. tell you. We're going to watch the whole thing. Like, I yeah. don't do that in this show. I have to know how it ends. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. Yes! <laughs> God! <laughs> It's very good. It's very good. Oh, it just it just blew up. It that just was it. Blew okay, up. perfect. Yeah, it didn't go into the future where it already won. It just. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. More slow mo. All the slow mo. I mean, if you have a slow mo camera, you might as well be using it for. Yeah, this is who should direct the next Ooh. Fast and the Furious. I mean, I guess we should have been backing Kit the whole time. Wait oh. a minute. Twist! The dumbest. The dumbest. Oh. Uh. So we're, we've got a few more of these. We won't we won't watch all of uh, this. We'll just watch some of it because it's it is very cool. That a first person Hot Wheels. I, I should have figured that this would be a it's thing, a but I'm so genre. happy that like oh this is awesome. This one seems to have like way less editing in it and stuff too. Like this is just like no, I figured out how to. Shove a GoPro on a Hot Wheel. I've got a like, yeah, but it's like yeah. all, the, all the track is laid out in a way where it's like, okay, this is how the momentum is going to work for this part. This goes on for I, I can't remember how long this video is. Let me see if I can see. And no, there's okay. a lot of these how videos on YouTube. This there's a lot more. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot more of this video. It's it's oddly relaxing. There's a couple videos later in the show that are way more like meant to be relaxing. But I, there's something about like it's like yeah, I guess I'm in this Hot Wheels car just racing. Uh, all right, yeah, so this, we talked about this a little earlier. 
Uh, this gentleman built himself a large dirt track, uh, named all these marbles, and then released them, and is doing commentary like this is a race. Spoiler alert. No, no, the, be no the best part is that, like, so the guy who shoots these videos, he shoots them, and then fans of his YouTube, he's built a community of people who do commentary after the fact. Wow. Yeah, so they'll also do guest commentary as if they were there. Yeah, like, we, we, we totally shouldn't watch the whole thing because it's not that exciting, but it's yeah. that thing where you're watching it kind of passively, and then suddenly you're invested in, like, all right, I'm rooting for that that one blue marble. I mean, That's so, got the race. It's got the race. I want the silver ball to win. I don't know why I do. I just decided I like that silver ball. Yeah. It's in, yeah. like, fourth place. Come on. I'm all, I'm that, yeah. that yellow one in six. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm putting it on I mean, the yellow one is, the gold is yellow one. Yeah. yeah. Blue's holding on to that lead. Yeah, yeah cool. He's also, like, you can't hear it, and that's fine. There's this low-level commentary happening during this video. It's Extremely like, flat affect. Yeah. Why do I watch F1 when I can just see, watch this? See, see, look at that. Now you're all invested, too. God, what have you done to me, Charlie? <laughs> the blue ball is still in the lead, though, so, like, uh, the gap is closing, though. This is the dumbest thing to feel this much emotional oh! investment. Oh! The upset! Oh! Silver, my silver ball is in fifth place now. I'm curious. I'm still pulling for blue. I'm still pulling for blue. But here's the thing I, I want to say: like, you have to imagine, dug all these trenches, made all these things, and then had to test it over and over again to go. Oh, no balls can get by this. I gotta fix it. Oh, everyone loses momentum here. I gotta dig it deeper. Like the amount of effort and work into this. Blue taking it back. Blue taking it back. Yeah! Very quickly, didn't take long at all. He is back out in front. Okay, well, we can go for a little bit. Blasting back out into the light. We'll watch a little bit more. I need to know how this ends now. You have to cut one of my videos. That's fine. But also, I have to know. Imagine, you said, Charlie, the number of people that are like, I'm going to make a commentary track for this. I'm going to build a character and make a video where I just watch this video and do commentary. I love it. Someone's treating this like it's an actual sports league. Yeah. It's insanity. Like, he probably had to go back in and add that little ramp because, like, the track just kind of died. And the other thing is that, like, the guy who shoots these videos, he treats it like a Grand Prix or whatever, so there's, like, multiple tournament structure amongst the marbles. All those marbles had names, as yes. if they were things, and not just fucking marbles. <laughs> I think Blue's gonna take it. Yeah, Blue's probably gonna take it. It's such a commanding lead. I didn't watch the finish of this, so oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. Oh. yeah. Comment! There you go. And Glassy. I also do really here, fucking love watching all of them just land. Last place, El Captain. El this dude, I think, has like hundreds of these videos, by the way. Yeah. As I said, all my videos are going to be on my Tumblr next week, so you can watch all of it. And <laughs> watch it in slow mode. No, I can't we're do not. This again. I can't. There's one, we got one more video, uh, Charlie. Uh, a lot of See? people have seen this probably. It's fine. I like that. This is a very savvy audience, so they've seen some of the videos that we're going to I show. just like that this is crazy contraption built by an anime version of Beck. <laughs> <laughs> you workshop that joke. I really, that. I really did. It was, it was a good one. I appreciate the work that works. Sadly, this was not to feature in the actual anime called <laughs> Beck, but sadly. No. Yeah, so this thing is like a crazy musical instrument slash marble run slash immense waste of money all at the same time. What do you think this dude's parents wanted him to be instead? Prince of a kingdom that yeah. needs a hero? I like the idea like, so you're going to be a musician, but you have so many years as a woodworker. Yeah, but don't worry about it. I got it. This is like super cool because it's also like a real life version of, um, there's a series of video is called N in Music. That is, a guy basically does this, but it's all CG. Um, but, like, all of the all of the CG is MIDI controlled. Like, he just, he creates a thing out of, in in an engine, out of physics, and then feeds it MIDI data, and then it just does, does all of this, yeah. and it's super cool. Instead, this man, this man, and I'm sure a team of helpers made a weird marble monstrosity music machine. And then I, I appreciate that he's really into it. That's Legos, it. by the way. There are a lot of clips of him just being pretty psyched about how this all works. Like, there he is in the background. Like, yeah, I appreciate that. It's like a jam. Yeah. Here comes the 
comes the drop. Ooh. All right, when does it when does the B drop again? It's it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, that thing he's doing on the left is literally just a little vibrato. Yeah. Yeah, now he's like relinking tracks, and now this this drum is spinning back up. Oh, also there's like a full guitar in there, which I didn't notice the first time I watched this. It must absolutely suck to lug this around for his DJ nights. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then he's got to reload all of the balls back in. Nonsense. He gets really annoyed when you go up to the merch table and ask if he's selling one of those. Yeah. <laughs> it's just intricate and cool and weird and the, nonsense. And This stuff is just, it's so awesome. I love stuff like this. Yeah. All right, well, we're not going to finish this because we All got right. so much more show. Yeah. But yeah, that's the Marvel Machine. It's cool and weird. Uh, thank you, Charlie, for those oh, no. wonderful, weird you, things. Yay! Uh, also, we had to move on because that's very quiet and nice, and I'm, I'm just, it's been a long pax, and I can't. <laughs> I, need, I need a little bit of lively nonsense, and I know that, <laughs> Erica... Your first video is really so, goofy. Okay, so are, are all of these in the in the order that I gave yes. them to you? So we're, okay, so we're gonna, this video we're going to watch once, and then we're going to watch again once we know what the joke is, because it's oh, so yeah. funny when you know what the joke is. So why, why don't we Let's just go. show this first one here? Here's the first video. Let's we're going to watch it again. There's a lot of 18 so, in the show. Oh my god! I, I've got a couple. I've got a couple really short videos because I just enjoy really quick humor. Um, notice next time, like just how many people are fucking crowded at that door, <laughs> <laughs> and all they're doing is pulling one guy out of the building. Yeah, this is like a training thing. But now that you know it's coming, it's still funny. It's still really funny. <laughs> The best part is that everyone is like clearly heading to the stairs, except this guy's like, I'm gonna do an awesome move I'm going gonna, up here. I'm gonna fucking hop off this ledge. It's gonna yeah. be fucking good. Uh. Yeah, he's trying to cool guy that uh. shit. He, he does do the like trail behind. He looks like no one else like looks through that door. He's just like, let me check it out. I'm uh, like, I got, nope, I don't have this. This is like a perfect recreation when I used to play Counter Strike. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> scale this, nope, nope, don't scale it. Fall, okay. Uh, all right. Um, next one. This next one's another fun, it's quick little joke. Real dumb. <laughs> Jim, you're on a roll. Am I? What? <laughs> Fuck? <laughs> I don't okay. know. I, so, I don't know why most of the video is him laughing. I don't know why. Because it is. it's so funny. <laughs> I don't I, know why. Okay, I, so there's so many things in that video that just. So I've watched that video like probably over a hundred times, <laughs> and it still keeps being funny because I keep picking things apart from it. For one, he's playing against bots. Second, he's losing against the bots. <laughs> Third, he's died because he's at a respawn point against the bots. And the fourth and funniest thing is that the, 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 the piece of pastry that he picks off off the chair has like five bites in it already. <laughs> <laughs> this is not their first take. <laughs> it, it, it appears to be a hamburger. I wait, 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 wait. I have questions. He was, was he sitting on the bun? He was yeah. sitting on he the bun. He was playing... A he's, video game sitting on a bun. He's on a roll. He's on a roll. He's on a roll. Because he got a bu he had a bunch of kills. Oh god damn it! So he's on a roll. Oh god damn it! And then he was on a roll. And so said, "You're on a roll." Layers to this thing. It's perfect. Oh. And his friend goes, "Hey, you're on a roll." And he goes, "Oh, I am on a roll." And then he eats it, and I don't know why. 
He bites into it, and, then, and it's so funny that they just can't uh, stop laughing. They both laugh because this was the take that they nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's also, I think, why they're laughing, because they were like, we did it. I didn't drop the camera this time. <laughs> <laughs> so the next video is another, oh. like, a couple people think this dumb idea is very funny. Oh, yeah. Uh, this video, you've probably seen maybe just like the animated GIF of it. You maybe heard the sound or maybe a one-minute clip on, tw on Twitter. It made the rounds a little bit. I'm very happy I have the source now because uh, I, I watched this video like last night like 10 times. You're welcome. <sighs> Here we go. Yeah, yeah, there, I got some, yeah. I, I always love, full, I love it's, packs. It's so much because funnier with this the video, video some or with of the audio. Yeah. I'm probably showing too much of him playing the game, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait for it, wait for it. Yeah. Oh, it did. Okay, so uh, you didn't. You didn't get a thing with the YouTube, like the actual YouTube video of that. Is the very last frame they scream at the end. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I got rid of that part. It was so loud. I didn't like it. Uh, so first of all, I love the follow through. I love the how long they do it. I love the like. I love this song so much. I gotta get up and dance. My only nitpick in this video is you see the guy in the white shirt for a second before he gets into place because there's not enough room in the bedroom for him to peer next to him and do it. He has to come from behind him. And I'm like, you guys could have staged that a little better. That's my one nitpick. I like that you're like, they should have workshopped it like for like another minute or two. Hey, if you're going to make a YouTube situation, go all the you, way. Should, you should go, go, all you the should way. Just go full steam. Uh, but I, I love stupid stuff like that. That's just two guys having a great time and just being like, oh, no, I'll do it too. That'll make it better. Uh, uh, and then we're going to shift gears a little bit here with this next video. Is this right next one is a nightmare. Um, so I, I like weird videos, but I like, I like the Tim and Eric kind of weird videos. And this is like this times a thousand. And I accidentally stumbled into this one day and I couldn't stop yelling about it on Twitter because I was so scared. So the thing about this video is it is a category of, of videos uh, and 404 it where I'm happy it exists. I'm excited to talk about it, but I do not endorse this product. And I need to make it very clear that none of, no one should live in these places. Don't. It's not a, no, it's not. This is all terrible and great. Oh no. I hope you like that sound. I do. Because it happens like 20 more times. <laughs> why, why? All of this is why. All the slow zooms on everything. What? So I have to be very clear with you. This is not a fake video where people are like, let's make a bad one. The, the, the link, the, 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 the guys that make bad commercials didn't make this. Yeah, this is the part I need to emphasize. This is real. Like, they have a website and it's also as terrifying as this. And the first comment on this video is for the person who made it saying, this is great. <laughs> where love and laughter abound. Ah! That was both love and laughter. Like, I don't know where they photoshopped all of these pictures. <laughs> so they had to... It's like, look at all these smiling people that live in this place. You should too, don't. The use of fonts is really offensive. <laughs> There's so many. Holy shit. <laughs> Right? <laughs> it's like they couldn't spell Fountain View with one font. They had to use all of them. They had to, they had to use like six different fonts. And we're like, what do we capitalize? Like the last five letters and the can first you... one, but not the ones in the middle. And also not, we can capitalize like the last two letters of Fountain for whatever reason. Can, can you go back to that dog? Let's go back to that dog. Because like, what is wrong with that dog? Those are human yes. teeth in that dog. I guarantee those you those are, are human those teeth. Those are human oh, yeah. teeth. Oh, also, have... please acknowledge, it's very quick, all the layers and layers of Photoshop in this yeah. photo. Because they, that's they were a like, we chili can't, peppers. Let, we'll, add, we'll add food and <laughs> post. On the stove. But, like on you, the stove. That's, like a you fire, do. that's a fire hazard cooking in that fashion. Show me the dog. 
I need to see the dog. I'm there. Those are human teeth. All right. Those are people teeth. Those are human teeth. The dog has glasses. Yeah. And also, no. Those no. Two, two monocles. Erica, I don't mean to correct you. That does. Those are two different monocles. <laughs> those are not glasses. They are. They are maybe the same monocle flipped negative to be put on the other eye, but those are monocles. Those those teeth are also whitened just like every other <laughs> pair of visible teeth in this I hate thing. This. And it's I'm terrifying. mad at everyone. Well, I'm never oh going to sleep God. again. It's, um, up, it's upsetting. It's like someone told, someone was told, you know, if you really want to get people in this place, you got to advertise on the internet. And they were just like, oh, make a weird commercial for the internet? Yeah. Great. Spend a lot of money on something awful and great. Like, I've made PowerPoints before. Yeah. I've got yeah. this. Someone went ham on an iMovie. Yeah. You know, with like some clip art that they I'm, got from like 1993. I'll admit, I'm not super great at Premiere, I, but I can't make this. Uh, I could not make this video if I tried. Oh, this is the last video, so I started already because it's just. This I is, yeah, this is my. Well, go ahead. Sorry. Erica, this saying? video is 44 minutes long and I took eight minute clip yes. out of it. Uh, so this is my, this is my last video, and this is one that actually just it's just nice and calming. So there's you you won't be surprised to find out that there's a scene of people in Japan who go into the cabin and then set up a camera and then just record the entire commute, um, and it's just so nice. It's so nice and it's so relaxing. And I put these videos on a lot when I'm like stressed or tired or I need to concentrate on work. Like, it's just the sound of trains, it's the sound of the intercom going off when you're about to get to the next station, the sound of, like, people quietly talking in the background. I, I will gladly take this over the subgenre of people on YouTube who see trains and scream at them because they are so excited by the trains. This is much more pleasant. I extremely like those videos. Okay. Also, uh, shout out to my friend nice. Eric, who is uh, one of those people. My good friend Eric uh, is, uh, has loved trains so much. He wrote a comedy show uh, where he was like, oh, I got to put my train photos in this show. And he did that so he could put his train photos in a comedy show to justify a three-hour train ride he took taking photos of other trains. <laughs> um, there's, it's just a thing. There's something very soothing about this, and it's very helpful. And it's also like a little bit of a Japan you might not see in yeah, media. Yeah, so the, like, that's the, like, there's... I mean, there's there's plenty of reasons I like it, and one of them is that like, I'm sure there are people here who like when you're when you really need to like focus on work or something, you turn on like a white noise generator or something just to have some something that's going on, but you don't have to like concentrate on it. And to me, this is what this is. Like, I just like having that sound in the background. Um, but then also, yeah. So like, most of these videos start inside like the you know dense urban sprawl because it's a train that is commuting outward. So by the in the like latter half of the video, it's just nice countryside and it's peaceful, and you get to look around and just be like, yeah, that'd be a nice place to live. Yeah, it's just it's just one of those things where nice. like, there's no payoff to this video. It's just a cool video at the front of a train, and like, it's like yeah, and there's just people like waiting for the train to go by so they can drive to work or whatever and see the problem for me is that like I've watched way too many of those like Russian dash cam videos mm, so I'm yeah. expecting like a horror twist to happen like imminently none of that here the worst yeah. you'll get is uh, a train like them switching conductors and then they just kind of awkwardly look at the camera and you're like oh <laughs> I, oh you've broken a, a like a, like a bond here that I'm not okay with yeah um, I've shown a lot of videos from Japan and this is definitely the chillest video I've ever shown uh, and it's just like, yeah, it's a 44-minute video. I had it on, like, two weeks ago for most of the video, just, like, while I was doing other stuff. I was like, every once in a while, I check in and go, oh, cool, countryside. All right. It's we'll go 44 back. minutes, and it's one of the shortest ones. But also, I do want to point out, we are showing this video because our next and in, in final segment is with Alex, and some of these videos are bizarre. And so I was just like, you know what? Let's just all chill and reset and relax. Like... Because I'm going to fuck this up. No. For those that have been to 440 before, none of uh, Alex's videos are, are Eric Pope videos. Uh, no, they're not that bad. So they're not that bad, those of you that have been before. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go. We're going to talk to Alex. Uh, hi, Hello. Alex. Hi. Um, I will say I am the least prepared for your videos. I didn't watch all the one through because I was like, I kind of want to save it for the show. Yeah. So I don't necessarily remember the order. Okay. Um, uh, so the theme I went with was... Anything is a competition if you believe in it hard enough. Yes. 
Oh, uh, we yeah. do a show over at Giant Bomb called uh, Steal My Sunshine, which is based around Mario Sunshine. Yes, shout out to Giant Bomb Premium subscribers. Uh, that's a single player game, but Dan Reichert, uh, who is a nightmare of a human being in general, uh, is also kind of, it has a lot of ingenuity, and it somehow managed to turn that into a gambling show where we all bet on trying to get shines in that game. And that got me thinking along the lines of, you know, I love weird competition. I love competitions that don't make any sense at all except to the people who are way into them. So that is the theme I went with here. And yes. this first one is the thing that started it all for me. Here we go. We won't watch all of this, but Blaze we will watch uh, oh, We'll watch a couple why? of minutes of it. So let's say you've got a knife, <laughs> like a really nice one. I I'm do. in. And you don't have anything to do with it. Like, what are you going to do, chop vegetables with it? That's boring as hell. What if you could take Ladies it into competition? International. We could Does the Cutlery Corner sponsor this? Somehow not safe. affiliated. Please what? Come out this is Blades Wars International, by the way, I'm pretty sure only exists in Texas. These were the not, not exactly international. The uh, this is from their 2012 competition, uh, which is in someone's front yard. These are the competitors. Here are your cutters. And, and I'll say, this is exactly who you would imagine when I told, when if I told you there was a knife cutting competition happening in Texas, you would imagine all these gentlemen. And yes, maybe as a minority, I would be running away. Yes. So <laughs> this is the competition. Like that sounds bad. Points are subtracted from the time. Low score wins. Uh, Peter's now cutting this uh, horizontal two before. They also have so basically, we're going to take you through one of these, and everyone has to do it. Some people yeah, have yeah, more style than others. There's like, I'm maybe going to get a little bit of the guy that's like kind of like scrawny and very yeah, precise in a way that I do appreciate. But this is this is like you know this is your cut. standard. Each cut this thing, rope. cut that thing, uh, cut this thing, chop that thing. They and made a double dare course for knives. Yeah. Two inch rope with targets. Oh, you got yeah. That's a now you got a good, good one of that. Noodle, and then you have to cut three clean rings out of pool noodle in that target zone area. Can't knock the pool noodle off. You do. You're disqualified from that one. That's a pool noodle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Has a free three clean rings. Water bottle with target zones, and you can't pull it out of the. This clip. is this is like the commentary for the And then everyone backs up because it's gonna get wet. I just think it's really funny that he's holding his other hand behind his back like it's fencing or something. Yes. Yeah. Like, it's there's a an artistry to it. Cardboard packing tube, and you cut rings out of it. Each ring is worth a certain amount of points. This is hypnotic. He's doing a great So also, job this here. commentary you know, isn't like live. It's balls. just an explanation of what the fuck is happening right now. Wait, are those ping above pong balls? No, they were golf balls. Oh, I thought so they you have to cut that one. Cut above it. The second has the and you gotta slice this one the down the middle. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. I fucked up. And then back to where we started. And also the terribly put upon wives of these men just sitting back on. <laughs> Jerry's got his knife competition again this weekend. Yeah, it's like in someone's yard. Yep. Yeah, that dog's just happy to be outside. Can you imagine the happening? This dude, look at this fucking guy. Gary Bond. Gary Bond goes hard. Gary Bond is not. Tr he's trying to break records. He doesn't care about precision. He gets cares about results. He's not here for your finesse bullshit. He is here What's to this? power arm his way through yeah, this. I'm cutting that. Oh, this is gonna be great. Yeah, you're dead. I got that. Fuck your Chop pills. This thing. Here's Wait, your rope. Here so is this timed or is this like It is just... timed and each section has points attached to Even it. Even this part, he's like, I can't wait to do the next thing. Oh, oh you're going oh. up. You're good. Yeah. I think we'll we'll start. Yeah. Oh, he, he's so fucking pissed right now. Yeah. He's so mad that that cut was bad. He's so upset. Like, if you're married to this dude, doesn't this seem insanely ominous? Yes. Now, look, I'm not saying that all the people who do this are serial murderers. That's absolutely not, that can't be the case. But statistically, one of them has to be, right? I mean, it's like they're training for it. Yeah. Also, there... I've never seen this knife. I don't know what these knives existed before. These are competition-grade knives, man. These kind of, like... Half butcher knives. I, I want to know what I want to know what the drama. Look how mad he's he so it out mad. He lost time. He's not breaking the record. Are the wives now gone? Yeah, yeah. The, wives are gone. the wives Get all leave. The yeah. wives this are gone. Like, it's too much malevolence. They're like, fuck okay. this. We're going all to right. Costco. So we won't watch all <laughs> yeah, of my new bags. There's two parts to this one. Is the 2012 competition. You want to see the whole thing. Uh, it's no. like 20 minutes long. Uh, they have recently graduated, I think, to a parking lot outside of Home Depot. 
So they've gotten much bigger. Like, this is the kind of thing where, like, you'd be driving around the neighborhood assuming this is, like, a yard sale and just stumbling in and being like, oh, hey, look, they have some stuff for sale. And it's like, oh, shit. And then you never leave that driveway. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm bad with ages, but I do believe this is the youngest competitor. I think so. Um, All right, we can move on. Yeah. It, it's this over and over again. I, I appreciate his precision. They're really that bad one, at that one water bottle. It's, he missed that one water yeah. bottle, too. Let's see, we'll watch this hack thing. And it, All right. Oh, that big man in the back. God damn. I think he's the guy that puts on the competition. Yeah. He's the one who hands out all the trophies at the end. Does this shirt right. have a sponsor on it? Okay, here's the next Alex, one. Alex, what the fuck, man? All right, so I'm not going to describe this one. I just want you to discover it for yourself. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're digging a hole. Competitive hole digging, all right. Yeah, all right, that's fine. I love that this is, like, streamed by the uh, AP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it's important. Hmm. I wonder what that hole is. Oh, oh. What kind of oh, hole could they possibly no. be digging? I don't get it. Weird, it's like oh. six there, feet. There's a tree being planted, right? Oh. There's a tree being planted. Oh. Yeah. Oh boy. So this is in Slovakia. <laughs> uh, this is apparently a thing they do there. That's not English, so I, I'm sorry, I can't translate that. But I think what he's saying is, I'm a very good grave digger. Because that's what they're doing, they're digging graves! Competitively. Competitively. It's competitive grave digging. I know that that's just a shirt that that guy owns, but I hope that he was sponsored by yeah. Monster. Yeah. This is like a Wiimote game that should have existed. So, <laughs> I... God, fuck, Charlie. Jesus. All right. He's I want to wrong. point out. And now with Wii my, Motion Plus. <laughs> my favorite part of any competitive thing is lots and lots of people with clipboards, and there's so many people with clipboards in yes. this, and it makes me so happy. This is I, the judging side like, of it? What yeah. are they judging? Is it like the dimensions? <laughs> yeah, man. He's got his game face on. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Or is that like just some random cosplayer? Uh, no, he's the rest. Okay, so he's talking. He's the rest. I believe that man is declaring the winner by standing together. near it. And here, how we can see our the digging contest. It's actually a fun part here of the <laughs> exhibition, and it's all about showing people how hard and uh, deeply is this work. <laughs> all right, we don't we don't have a lot of time, so we gotta yeah, move, we can on. move on to the next we gotta one. Move That's on. Just this thing sucks. Sucks, Alex. Yep. We're going to watch it really quick. This is just a... Uh, it's a commercial. This oh is an no. official competition for Microsoft Office. This but is how they sell it. But guess what? We only have this commercial because there's apparently no footage of the actual competition exists. No. Because how the hell do you show that? Yeah. Okay. That was just a clip with the grassy again. I don't see... This wasn't shot by Absolutely the, not. This wasn't shot by the same dude who did that Hot Wheels video, was it? It kind of seems like it. And here <laughs> come the pretzels. All right, look, I, I've worked in IT. It's not like this at all. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing says, yeah, it's like this. this is the no, only thing Wait, is this PAX? Yeah, it's, it's PAX. This is the PAX of Microsoft Office. Yeah. This is like uh, a reboot of like PAX Rumble, but terrible. I think this is a scam, by the way, to get parents to get their kids Microsoft Office certified. Yes. It's just it's a Microsoft Office certified scam. That uh, they were like, oh, it's competitive. How? How is it competitive? We all right, this know. is my other favorite. Yeah, man, we only got a couple minutes left, so we got to get into this. Let's like, just do it. What the fuck, Alex? All right. You sent me this, and I, and I looked at it for a real long time before I was like, oh. It, it just takes a little while. What? Uh, oh. Hi, and I'm here at the 2016 Yogic Flying Competition with this Does anyone here know what Yogic is Flying is? Great no. Okay. To get all of them in one place. Get ready. Is them. this something it from like Street Fighter 5? Not. Well. Event. I was just, I couldn't really <laughs> Yes! Myself. Oh, yeah. wow! I just really was inspired. There's a man the in a referee jersey right there. Flight. Check it out. It's I'm official. I'm pretty sure that's the guy Demetrius. from King of Kong. He, uh, took a couple of medals in first place. But let's talk about the hurdles. With the hurdles, when you're going and you see this hurdle in front of you, um, does it create some sort of a sensation in your mind? Because you're in such an unbounded uh, environment. What, what does it feel like? What goes on in your mind? Exactly you like that. We go to the unboundedness, and from that unboundedness, any intention can become material. So this is like... So even the intention 
So this is all wrapped up in uh, transcendental med meditation. Like the sure. yoga flying is a part of that. Uh, not the part that I ever hear David Lynch talk about, but apparently it's in there. Uh, what I want to know actually is what goes on. This is apparently a major thing, and I, look how happy these dudes are. It's just too intense. What do you think happens when like a wedding rolls around and then someone's like, "So what have you been up to for the past year?" Well, I think in the world. Yoga He's very happy. Great. He's so happy. Why? Why is he doing that on the way back? Uh, let's talk to. Uh, All right. Rod. So, so th Rod. there's an addendum to this. To Nonsense. Well the time we've got it. We're getting. We're wrapping up. Don't worry about it. During this election, you've heard a lot about yogi flying and the experience of bubbling bliss. That's because 7,000 that yogi flyers can create a perfect government with the ability to satisfy everyone. All of our national problems are basically caused by stress. And the best antidote is transcendental meditation and 7,000 yogic flyers, which can eliminate stress in the whole country, create an integrated national consciousness, and prevent problems. For a perfect government, vote the natural law party. This was the central what? tenant of a political party. <laughs> the natural law party, which mostly existed in the 90s, I think is mostly defunct now, they made a play at British Parliament in the 90s, because any Commonwealth country could do it, which is why Doug Henning, famous Canadian magician here, was, was involved in this. And their whole thing was, we're gonna replace the government with 7,000 yogic flyers to eliminate stress in the country. There's so much- Our Canadian heritage. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Erica. Erica, thank you for hitting that end. Uh, give it up for Charlie and Erica. And Alex, uh, this is the panel. We're going to go one minute over so I can do my plugs. Uh, these are the people that will be on my website that made these icons. I want to give them a shout out because artists don't get enough credit out there. All these icons were created these great people. It will be on my website as well. Uh, i got to twit, eh, fuck it, whatever. Be Snorlax out there. Be, be someone Snorlax, please. Be the strong person for someone who needs it uh, in your day-to-day -day life. Be a fucking badass, cool motherfucker like Snorlax for someone. Uh, this has been 4 4 It'll be on my website later. Thank you all so much. Uh, have a great rest of your packs. Oh, my God.